Courtney with Vector Off-Road and today we're going to be installing the JLL Contour E-Dock. The installation can be done with the windshield up, but we highly recommend putting the windshield down. There are four bolts that will need to be removed to put the windshield down. So we'll do the driver's side first and then move on to the passenger side. To remove the windshield wipers, you'll need to use a small flathead screwdriver to expose the nut. You'll need a 15 millimeter socket to remove the nut. Once they're off, you're going to pull the windshield wipers off. If you don't want to remove your windshield wipers or if you have light pods, you can use a strap so that your windshield does not go all the way forward. You'll need to remove the middle liner. And then also there are four dash caps, but you'll need to remove these two. It's helpful to use a plastic pry tool when popping these out. Inside each of these holes is a bolt that will need to be removed with a 10 millimeter. Once your bolt is loose, it's helpful to go in with a magnet tool and pull it right out. Remove the bolt from the opposite side using the same technique. The passenger side has a special standoff washer that goes on the bottom of your standoff. It's easiest to tape it on there until you get it started and then lower it down in there. On the driver's side, there's no standoff washer, so just thread it into the hole. Now that the tray liner's cut, go ahead and put it back in there. You'll need to remove the two screws that will be used for the center mounting bracket. Place the E-Dock on the dash and position the two center mounting brackets. Replace the two screws holding the brackets. Keep all the hardware loose until the final step of insulation. Now we're going to place the bolts using a 532nd Allen key. For the driver's side mounting bracket, a drop-in insert is required. Place it in like so. Use a smaller bracket on the driver's side. One side goes into the drop-in insert and the other side goes in like so. It's important to use the same bolt that came in your standoff on the correct side because the thread is different. On the passenger side, the bracket mounts to this corner. Once positioned, go ahead and tighten. Once again, it's important to use the same bolt that came in your standoff. Go ahead and take it right out of there. and screw the bracket right back in. Before the final tightening, you're going to loosen this set screw, as well as this set screw. This allows the E-Dock to match the contour of the G. At this point, go ahead and tighten up all of the hardware. The final step is to retighten the set screws. Now you're ready to mount your accessories and enjoy your e-dock. Thanks for watching.